Hey YouTube, long time no see. Got a uh, Magnum headache rack for my, my truck here. Uh, just installed it with my wife's help here today. Um, got a 2024 F-350 King Ranch. And I uh, want to get the headache rack. Uh, one, I think they look kind of cool. But two, um, I wanted some warning lights that didn't look bad and looked kind of factory. So on this particular headache rack, this light is red and is both the turn signal and marker lights. Same with this outside light. And then these two center ones, sorry, my camera's going crazy. The two center ones are the amber flashing light. And then uh, they're also the reverse lights. Um, there's a few videos. These install the same way as the videos that you'll find on YouTube going back 10 years or so. Um, there's a little wiring harness, comes out of there, goes down and then it runs down the back and you plug it in. Basically, it wedges in behind this guy here. Um, pretty simple. Uh, my wife and I took us an hour and a half to install it and run the wires. With those ambers, I ran another 12 gauge wire or not 12 gauge it was 18 gauge wire from underneath here up through the engine bay and across over to the passenger side auxiliary switch relay module and uh overall i think it looks really sharp install was easy uh got a couple of nags uh things that i don't like about it um one being as it's intercepting the trailer wiring um, I now, my truck now thinks I forever have a trailer connected to it. So uh, the problem with that is if you don't go register it in the infotainment system, um, it's going to disable your blind spot and your cross traffic alerting. I was able to go in here and tell this truck that I created a Magnum trailer that is one and a half feet wide by one feet long, and that seems to be working fine. So I think everything is... My blind spot and my, my cross traffic is working, but it means that my truck thinks it's got a trailer hooked all the time. So that means, you know, my soft tap on my turn signal, I'm getting six instead of three, um, which isn't the end of the world. I could go change that if I chose, but it, it, it removes some of the convenience of the truck having the intelligence of knowing when you plugged a trailer in. It's also going to affect the fact that it's not going to know that my trailer has a trailer light out because all of these lights up on the top here, as far as the truck is concerned, are trailer lights. So I don't know if there's a way around that. It'd be nice if Ford had a way where I could say, you know, run through a test. The load on that circuit is normal non-trailer load and any load above that is a trailer. I don't think there's that much intelligence in here, at least at a user level where we can do that. Um, the other thing I don't like, and we'll go in the other side here. The other thing I don't like is the strobe pattern uh, of these. There, there isn't really one. Um, so we'll... Uh, we'll fire up the strobes and we're looking right into the sun, so that's not the best. So let's see if we can go offset here. And I can try to get an image of this. Here, that looks a lot better. So we just get, so you can see there's kind of a cross pattern in that LED. Um, let's see if I can zoom in here. That's all, that's the entire pattern you get. When, uh, when the truck is in reverse, those two bars above and below on either one light up clear or, or white as the reverse lights. So the same with on the, on the left-hand side, those bars are your, your marker lights and that cross pattern is red, which is your turn signals and your brake lights. So, I know, it's something, it doesn't look horrible. Um, I got the one that, I guess that's the other thing I'll show you. I, I got the, the headache rack that fits flush with the cab and it does but i've got that high stop camera and it does obscure 
that a little bit and I'll just show you what that looks like in here. <laughs> so we'll pull up the cameras. Pull up the cameras here and we will go to the bed camera. And so you can see that that bar blocks a significant portion. You're just barely missing the end of the box there, but that gooseneck hitch is right here. So it really still does serve the purpose it needs to, um, to, to guide you in to that, that gooseneck. So it's my two cents on the matter. Um, we'll see how I like it. There's a chance I might unhook it from the, the power and do something different with the light modules in there. Um, like I said, it looks pretty sharp. I do like how it looks. Oh, I got to turn that off. But um, I am going to do another couple of things with uh, from Wicked Warnings. Uh, just because I do some event stuff and some nerdy ham radio stuff. Uh, Wicked Warnings makes a module that's plug and play that will strobe the, uh, the amber marker lights. They've got one for the DRLs and, um, and the fogs as well. Uh, I'm not going to do the taillights because those are red and I'm not trying to look like a cop or nothing like that. So I'm just going to avoid that altogether. And then I need to get something um, up front. I might mount something up here just so that when I'm plowing snow, I've got some side visibility um, and go from there. Oh, it's my two cents. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope this, this helps. A lot of the Magnum headache rack videos are several years old. So I want to do a 2024 update. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again.